beautiful friends over at Tokyo Street, all the way in Japan, have sent the both of us one of their premium box collections. Today's video, we're going to be doing a collaboration with Tokyo Street. If you guys don't know anything about them, let me just tell you something about them. Brace yourselves, guys. This is when I start to sound relatively smart. Let's get back to it. Three, two, one, action! Tokyo Tree offers a monthly subscription service of Japanese candies and snacks. If you want to know more about it, you can of course go to their website, which is tokyotreat.com. Now they have collaborated with several YouTubers, and thankfully we've been chosen to also do this collaboration. So Tokyo Treat, if you guys are watching this, thank you so much. Right here we have the premium candy box. Inside this box, it is containing 13 to 17 full-size candies and two DIY candy making kits. Did I just say DIY? I meant DIY, but you guys get what I mean. Yum! I'm so excited to try all of these candies. Now, guys, so it's not just candies; it's also like some actually like savory food. So we're gonna go through it and we're gonna review some of the candies for you guys and tell you guys exactly what we think. Let's get started. So the cool thing about this box is it also comes with the Tokyo Treat kind of like I guess a candy manual, and it kind of tells you everything that's in the box. Because of course, some of the writing isn't in English. So the first thing we're going to be trying is caramel popcorn. Well, it's actually called caramel corn. It's yeah. got a cat on the front, and it seems like it, well, it looks pretty tasty. I'm gonna read what it actually is. It says, "Yokai Watch Character Soft Serve Ice Cream." So I think it tastes yes, like ice, ice cream. cream. Ice cream on the packaging, yes, so. I'm guessing, because it's got an ice cream cone on it. So it yeah. says. Recent years in Japan, there has been a huge surge of popularity in monsters and goals, especially highlighted through the hit show Yokai Watch. So I think that's one of the characters from the show. And so, yeah, I don't know. And it says this caramel corn is hosted by one of the popular characters from this show. So that's one of the popular characters. Infused with soft serve ice cream flavors too, so it's even better. Oh, it smells nice. Oh, yum. Ice cream popcorn flavoring. Oh, that one is really nice. What would you rate that out of 10? 10. I actually rate this one a 10 out of 10. So, next one we're going to try is this packaging. Now, it's written in Japanese, so here it says in English that it's a tyrant habanero who came back. These crunchy rings are delicious and dangerously addictive. So, let's give it a try. Really? Mm. What are like little rings? Like, if you want like this, what's this like? Burger Rings! Burger Kings. Oh, uh, Burger Rings. Lord have mercy. Did she just say Burger Kings? Oh, damn. Oh, it's hot. It is hot. I would rate these maybe a 9 and a half out of 10. And I rate them a 10 out of 10. I wish they were a bit thicker, but it's hot. The next one is uh, this one. Looks pretty cool to me. Does it say the name there? No. Okay, this one is called Yokai Watch Fortune Namaste Curry. So I think they're fortune cookies. It says, in Japanese, yeah. there's a custom to buy special paper fortune to predict what New Year may bring. So we're going to try that. Oh, look at that. This is what it looks like. You have to show what it looks like before you eat it. I'm hungry. <laughs> Really nice. Uh, what would you rate this? An 8 out of 10. Yeah, I think I rated it an 8 out of 10 as well. Yeah. The next one we're going to be trying is this. Now, it feels like we've got some kind of crackers inside. It hasn't got the name on it, but it says here that it's called Fuku Fuku Thai Chocolate. So I think it's chocolate. And it says, In Japan, there has been a long time custom to enjoy the fresh taste of sea bream during the New Year. So that's kind of, I guess, so like yeah, New Year. It's fish, you know. Yeah, that's right. right. Wafer. Hmm. Definitely 10 out of 10. I like that. Is that a wafer? Four out of ten. Four? Oh, it's just delicious. I don't like chocolate, so. Woo! Look at this! Cool blimey! Tell me what that is! Now I'm pretty sure some of you guys are wondering what the hell does core blimey mean? Now core blimey is a term originated from the British, but Australians do use it as well, meaning a way of expressing surprise or anger. We both use it, both British and Australian, but I hope that sorted some of your confusion out. But now guys, it's time to get back to the clip. Ooh, look at this! Core blimey! Tell me what that is! Little candies have got like little balls. It has like different flavours. I don't think I've got this in there. But let's try them. That's called isn't it? Uh, the Pokemon Rain Moon 5 pack. So let's give it a go. Okay, so the first one I'm going to be trying is the pineapple one. Oh, okay, I'll give that a 10 out of 10. So, like I said, this was a Pokemon Rain Moon 5 pack and it had five flavors. The first one was pineapple, cola, soda, grape, and melon flavors. Five types of melon flavors. So I like them all. Mm -hmm. um, I think I give them a 10 out of 10, like all of them a 10 out of 10. Yeah. My favorite one was the cola one and the pineapple one. The next thing we're going to be trying are these things. I think it's like a Japanese wafer 
bar kind of thing with chocolate inside and here the name of it is Pokemon Wafers and it says a yummy wafer that is shaped like various pocket monsters from the hit franchise Pokemon up to 25 different I just had to pause it here can anybody else hear how much noise Valerie is making over in that corner possibilities of monsters which will you get the Pikachu one is said to be the rarest and you also get a special character picture with your snack ah oh, there a Pokemon get let's give this one a go okay. like I said it's a chocolate wafer Jinx! You ready? One, two. Ooh, I'm <laughs> It's like a standard wafer, oh, but the chocolates inside are like real chocolatey. Chocolate to taste chocolatey. I would have never expected that. Very good. I really like that. That's definitely 10 out of 10. That is a 10 out of 10 in my eyes. It's just better than the other one. Okay, Valerie. Ooh, these are cool. Oh, I guess with every single package you get, you get like a special toy or something. I think these are tattoos or stickers and this is a toy. So it's cool. I think they're collectibles. So they're really cool. The next one we have are the, is this box of chocolate balls. And here it says chocolate ball peanuts. These special snacks have been a popular staple for Japanese living for many years and can be found in a lot of amazing snack shops around the country. So I think these are very popular in Japan. So we're lucky to be trying these today. Yeah. Oh, smells like peanuts. That's what it says, chocolate peanut. Oh. Okay. There are peanuts inside. They're like um they look a bit like milk duds, the um milk duds, you know? Milk duds from America. Hmm. These are nice. 10 out of 10. These are very these are very good. I'll give it a 10 out of 10 too. So the next treat we're gonna be trying is this, is the Pocky chocolate. We have these in Australia. But here it says, melt in your mouth winter pocky. Because the coconut pocky we offered in the summer was so popular, we couldn't resist sharing this treat. So it says coconut inside, I think. I should eat these. Mm. They're right. These are nice. They give it a 9 out of 10. Me too. It tastes like alcohol, like um. Taste, taste like alcohol. Okay, cool. So we couldn't resist not trying this earlier. Yeah. It is the Pokemon chewing candy. So it looks a bit like the double mint gum. I've already tried it. We've both tried it. Stop yeah. baking. We've both tried it. Yeah, give it a 10 out of 10. We both loved it. Oh, there's a drink in there. Oh, we've got a drink. Let me see. Has it got the name on it? It has, but it's in Japanese. But this one is called. That Guys, watch Valerie, the struggle of having fake, fake nails. And it's a drink, I'm pretty sure it's a soda. It says, as the new year approaches, the traditional beverage style of choice in Japan are those with sweet flavours. This drink in particular is enjoyed warm, and we think you will love it that way too. Thank goodness we didn't put it in the fridge, because we're going to, but um, it's enjoyed warm. It contains 1% alcohol content. <laughs> My nails. <laughs> oh, okay. Just like... Well, I'm, I don't drink alcohol, so I'll try it. <laughs> I don't drink alcohol. So I'm not going to try it, but she'll try it. Is it nice? Is it coconut? Yeah, I like it. It said that it has the sweet flavours. It should be sweet. Sweet sake is called. It's sweet, but I think it'll be a bit. Be Sorry. One out of ten? Oh, okay. Well, I think I'm going to be generous. I haven't tried it, but I'll give it an even a four. I'll oh, give it a four out of ten. But I'm yeah. being generous. Oh my gosh, guys. This is so cool. You yeah. know how I told you guys that we had two DIY, like, sweet things to make? Well, yeah. we found them. And what exactly is it? This is what they look like. The packagings are so cool. It looks like a lot of effort has been put into the packaging. This one here on Valerie's left is a Oikaki Highland candy. It has the steps in it. Which I'm not going to read out to you. And um, this one is also, I don't think I've got that in here. Yes, I have. It says the Nero Nero Narun soda flavor. Soda flavor. So I think we're going to be making something fluffy, sweet, puffed candy treat out of that. But because they're both so cool, we're not going to do it in today's video. We're actually going to be making this in a separate video. Because I don't know, I just think the whole idea is cool and it'll be one of our very first DIY videos here on Touche TV. <laughs> yeah. So, so excited to do that. So. <laughs> So we are so excited to do that. So guys, keep an eye out for that separate video. Yeah. So 
that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you guys did, let us know by pressing the like button, subscribe button, commenting down below, and maybe sharing this video with your friends and family. Yes, and um, also be sure to follow Tokyo Treats on all their social media. You can see here they've got YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. We'll put all their links down below in the description box. Yep. Of course, on our Instagrams as well, we'll also have the links in our posts. Yeah, to all the Tokyo Treat pages and stuff. So go and show them some love. We'd also love to say a great big thank you so much to Tokyo Treat. Thank you for sending us this amazing premium box. We truly do appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Everything in it was absolutely amazing. amazing. And we would definitely love to collaborate with you guys once again. So, you know, feel free to continue sending the boxes over because we enjoy it. More of these ones. Yeah, please. they're all so yummy. And yeah, in the meantime, we'll speak and see you guys later. Bye. Bye.